Cushing and welcome to another episode of My Favorite Foods. Today I'm going to take you to a place of my childhood, a recipe that I fell in love with probably when I was about 12 or 13. They are called rugala. It's a beautiful, luscious little cookie and you cannot eat just one. Today I'm making them with apricots and pecans, but you can fill them with just about anything you like. Super easy. Food processor, it's all done here. So I'm starting with all-purpose flour, a cup and a quarter, and just one tablespoon of sugar to that. And then I'm adding just a pinch of salt, as with all sweets. What I'm going to do here is, you've seen me probably do this a lot, it's my vanilla bean. I don't add extract here because I don't want the dough to be wet, but look at those beans. I'm going to add that right to the mixture. And then it's just equal parts of unsalted butter. I'm going to pulse that. Until it starts to look like coarse meal. Now to that, I'm just going to add the same amount as I did butter of cream cheese. Plain cream cheese. starting to come together. At this point, you need a little muscle. And I have to tell you, when I was about 12 or 13, I was introduced to these cookies with this uh, little bakery that was in my neighborhood. It was actually on my way to school. So, as it turns out, I would stop off there a little more often than I probably should have, but I had fallen in love with this cookie since then, and I've made it a gazillion different ways. So that's what you're looking for. It's a bit crumbly, but now my hands are just going to bring it gently together. Divide it in half. See how it's holding a beautiful shape? And what I do now is I roll it into discs. Forget about the balls, because it makes it easier to roll up. Now it's got to cool. I like to cover it so it doesn't get any sort of air in there. Go into the fridge, 30 minutes, but you could make this actually and freeze it and make it a month from now. It's very versatile. Here's my chilled dough. Now it's time for rolling. A little bit of flour. And I don't want to touch this much. Okay, and making sure you get your hand out of there. Don't slam your hand down. It's a beautiful dough. That cream cheese and the butter together, no leavener, it's really the perfect cookie. And you can't eat just one. I sometimes make them a little bit smaller so I can eat three and I don't feel so bad. I want to get this to about 11 inches in diameter. Now look at it, it looks like a sheet of marble. <laughs> oh. Okay, let me just show you the thickness. It's got to be pretty thin, right? Typically these are made with nuts. I love pecans. You can use almonds, hazelnuts, walnuts, whatever you like. My favorite combination, well, I got two favorites, uh, chocolate and hazelnut rules. I mean, it's ridiculous. But today I'm making a slightly more fruity version, and I find that apricot jam is the best for this. I just love it. It's really just how much you can spread on here so it's not too thick, not too thin, just perfect. Now I want to leave just a little bit on the edge there so it doesn't all seep out. So you're also going to want one of these little beauties. This is a little ravioli or a pastry cutter. And I want to cut this into 12 triangles. It's almost like the way you would make a croissant. So I do it in four, so just in half and then in half. And then each of these quarters into three. Okay, so this is 12. 
Now you notice that I slice them before I put the nuts on. It just makes it easier to actually roll them. So now, the nuts. Mm, I would say that's pretty good looking. So now what I do is I start rolling from the outside of the circle in towards you. So that's, I'm going to show you how I like to do that. So tucking it in, but not pressing too heavily. Okay. Seriously? So one patch is going to make about 24. You can have so much fun with these, and over the years, I have had so much fun. Equally fun making them and eating them. Okay, and now I'm going to tell you right now, mine are not perfectly even. This one is a little bit smaller, that's a bit bigger. Don't sweat it. Okay, so now, 350 degrees. I like to put them on convection, probably 16 to 18 minutes, but it really varies. The oven, the temperature, how happy you are making them, all kinds of things. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at these babies. So look at that jam oozing out and the little just golden all around each one. This is what I'm looking for, a nice golden bottom. Look at that. That's perfectly cooked. They're still pretty hot. I can smell all of this amazing jam. Oh, cream cheese, it's ridiculous how good it is. So remember, you can fill these with whatever your heart desires. Look at them, it's a thing of perfection. I really want to taste them, but they're super hot, so I can't do it right now. Sorry in advance for the addiction, which you are going to be addicted to these. Keep your eye on these while they cool. I'm just gonna go make a pot of coffee for me next time on my favorite food. Good. You want one.